Hello there, Cancer. Welcome back. We are going to be checking in with your week ahead and what you can expect. Um, for this week, I do not have any extended readings, but I will be focusing more on the personal readings. So if you need any personal readings, you can book one so you can get it ASAP this week, as I will also be doing a live uh, super chat for you all. So let's uh let's get it on let's see what is going on for you emotions are running high so you're being very sensitive around this time especially around the new moon as well as the full moon you may be feeling or experiencing a high intensity of energies uh, getting very emotional or getting very you know uh, frustrated uh, feeling other people's energy and not knowing how to regulate that sometimes we we adopt other people's energies right so you may feel that type of energy when you're around people that are very angry or sad or uh, whatever the, their emotions are you might be adapting that and this is a good way to know how to protect your energy from it um, let's see what more yeah i see you being very restless needing to really take care of your rest sleeping patterns um, withdrawing yourself there might be things that you feel a little bit heartbroken about or you feel a little bit uh, agitated about maybe with this four of swords so you really need some time to re recover or to recuper your own energy and i feel like being at home could sometimes make you feel restless that's what I feel when I see that four of swords reversed and the emotions high and your foundation. You might be stressed about your foundation, about your home life, about the structure within your home life. Um, you may not have like the rest that you need in order to work on, on, on your work or um, rest properly. There might be a lot of construction noise around your house or there might be like living with people that make a lot of noises, um, your neighbors, whatever it is, something that's been holding you back here. Okay, we got the devil card here. What more? One more for... And we got the crown chakra. Oi. Okay, together with the seven of swords, deception and envy. Okay, you may feel a little bit restless here because you may feel like there is some type of um, deceiving thing going on around you. I don't know what this is talking about, but you might be receiving messages, intuitive downloads in regards to a person in your life, and you don't know sh for sure if that is the case. Someone in your surrounding might be wearing a false mask, and you're starting to see their mask falling off, all right? Let's see what more with the tarot here. Could be also someone that you are living with. You might be starting to realize that they have like a hidden agenda. Um, that they're being a little bit deceptive about something. And you may need to listen to your intuition. Uh, close yourself off here and listen properly to your sixth sense here with this crown chakra. Spirit is trying to contact you. Spirit is trying to bring you information in order to make you realize this breakthrough. Okay. What is this about? We have the nine of pentacles. I'm going to put it back in the deck. If it wants to come out, it will. We do not take cards from the floor. We have the three of pentacles. We have the ace of wands. We have the Knight of Cups and the Hermit. Six of Cups. All right. So outside of that, things are looking quite bright for you. You have a lot of people in your surrounding that want to team up with you, work with you, that ask your help, that ask, your, ask you for your opinion. Um, and I feel like there are a lot, a lot of love interests that are coming in here. Uh, some of them or one of them could be very romantic, could be very uh, emotional, uh, knows how to kind of like lead you on. And then there is someone else that you feel a very strong and passionate connection with. And this person comes in and out of your life. This is someone that has uh, a lot of sexual power towards you or uh, they know how to seduce you in the right ways. But... 
I don't know if there is a but. No, there might not be a but here. <laughs> oh, well, the but might be that you need to reject someone that is probably younger than you. Um, this person really wants to, you know, be in a relationship with you. However, you may feel like you're too too wise and too old, like spiritually or mentally for this person. Uh, this is someone that is definitely showing you a lot of interest, but they're a little bit too young in their energy. The other person here, this is a soulmate connection. This is someone that you've been reconnecting with from the past. Uh, someone that has been in and out of your life, super adventurous, outgoing. And I feel like this person is coming in with like a huge love offer. Not sure if this is going to be on Valentine's Day. I mean, obviously this could be, but there is someone here that wants to, you know, declare their love to you. That is open for a loving uh, new beginning. With the four of wands, this is someone that you're going to feel very happy about. Uh, you're going to be celebrating <clears throat> the reconnection of this uh, lover, all right? This is your soulmate. And I feel like the problem here is that you may need to you know, start to block someone out. And the moment that you will reject this other person, which I feel like it's a water sign, um, could be a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio, this person will be stalk, starting to stalk you. The, you will not get rid of them because they're going to feel hurt in their ego with this Five of Swords. So I think that um, this person is not going to take your, your no that easily. It's like, you're going to bruise their ego. That's what I get from, uh, from this energy. And if this is not planning out just yet, this is about to come in for you in the next few weeks. So yeah, someone is going to feel a little bit jaded with you rejecting them. And they're going to be stalking your ass. Absolutely. They're going to keep tabs on you. They're going to be trying to poke your energy. Um, they have this... Um, Maybe they're the one that is having this deception and envy because they can't take your rejection. Wow, you got fruition. So I see a lot of things working out for you. You really taking care of your health, eating in a balanced way, uh, focusing on your diet and doing things that could also like Mm, keep you motivated and optimistic within your headspace like really working on your mental progress and mental dedication uh, your mental focus in life and I feel like taking the right nurture in your life when it comes to nutrition is going to definitely be helping you a lot so eating a lot of fruits uh, making sure that you get like all your vitamins um, really putting focus on getting all the vitamins that you need in real food as well as in supplements you got the take take time out card so again with this restless energy and emotions running high you may need to journal you may need to take some time to really clear your energy and also your emotions make sure that you write these emotions down so you can reflect on them on a later point rise of the warrior and we have the uh, divine law that is at play here uh, i feel like for some of you you are definitely rising above the uh, situations right here this is you taking taking your time to really build a very strong foundation for yourself this is an internal foundation this is talking about focusing on your strength your uh, exercising your diet like things that make you feel strong like internally but also mentally and spiritually and I feel like you will be overcoming whatever is coming on your path here so um, focus on being really focused that's what I get like I'm, I'm getting this archer energy of the Sagittarius like really being focused on your mental strength and your capability to overcome things um, Whatever the challenge is, you're going to overcome it, especially if it has to do with someone that is going to be a little bit stalking you. This, this, this might be the reason why you need that strong foundation as well. Let's see. You are definitely a spiritual warrior here. You have the third eye, clarity, with the rebirth. So 
as well as with the crown chakra. I feel like some of you are awakening your third eye. With this awakening of the third eye, you might be feeling and sensing other people's energy and you might get confused of that. So in order to integrate this huge awakening that is going on, you may need to kind of like withdraw yourself, really put focus on your diet as well as your exercising and uh, your spiritual progress because the, the more that you withdraw yourself from external forces, the more you can work on your own energy and don't get confused if someone else's energy is um, getting in between, right? Because sometimes when we are, like, for example, when I was going through my spiritual awakening and I was starting to do all these readings, every time I would go into the city and I would be surrounded with a lot of different energies, I would get very... I don't know, emotion, not really emotional, but like, I just was not feeling well energetically. I would feel very drained, like suddenly like have this drop in energy because I was not aware of how to protect my energy and how to work on my spiritual progress to not get too sensitive. So I feel like you are going through that same process where you are in, in like a big group of people with people's different energy and you just adopt that and you may need your your own space to regulate that energy and the way to do that is to kind of like do a lot of self-care and self-love take time for yourself here all right i think that that's about it let's just pull you one more with this and then yeah nothing has gone wrong keep the fade so Whatever is coming on your path, don't be in this victim mentality because this card just shows me a little bit of this victim mentality of like, oh, why does this have to happen to me? Uh, don't, don't allow that to happen, all right? Like everything is going in your favor, so don't allow outside forces to, um, to keep you off your path. Keep the fate and everything is going to be working out in your favor. You have like a beautiful foundation and a relationship that is coming in that is going to bring you a lot of love and a huge love offer. And I feel like you need some time to trust this person, but yeah, go with the flow with things, all right? Yeah, that's what I have for you, my dear Cancer. I hope that this message resonated and I catch you guys soon. Take care.